This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better road planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a Ceres 5. This is 80 kilowatt hour LFP battery, but it's the previous generation. There will be a 2025 model coming soon, and then there will also be a 90 kilowatt hour or, or something. But at least this is the 80 kilowatt hour previous gen. Uh, it supports 120 kilowatt, and I want to see how fast does it charge compared to other similar priced cars, at least for the rest of Europe. In Norway, this Ceres 5 is really cheap. It costs only 399k Nook, and it's the cheapest all-wheel drive if you don't count MG Marvel. But MG Marvel is all-wheel drive only forward, not backward. So, uh, okay, very important, whatever, whatever. But uh, in most other countries, this Ceres 5 costs roughly the same as maybe some of the other cars I'm going to compare charging against. So, let's roll the tape. And you see that immediately the Ceres 5 hits 116 kilowatt-ish, 117. Not going to comment too much about the other cars. You can see how much faster the other cars are charging. But let me see. Are we going to hit 120 at all? Uh kind of ish 118 seems to be the highest where it seems like wait wait uh 250 amp okay then what happened we're down 206 kilowatts suddenly so 120 kilowatt ish was achieved maybe barely or maybe not even there but okay whatever um how much percent are we at compared to the other cars? G6 is already at 37%. And then the second place is Explorer. No, the second place is Ionic 5. Of course, the 800 volt cars, they're charging faster. And then Explorer is third place. And then Sears is the slowest charging car right now. But it, at least it's flat-ish, right? Yeah, okay. It can maintain 107 kilowatt for a while. But um, just to put things in perspective here, G6 is about to hit 50%. Ionic 5 already hit 50%. <laughs> Sears is still at 33%. Well, okay, maybe they don't have fast charging cars in China, right? Well, actually, the G6 is Chinese also. I forgot about that. Okay, whatever. Uh, but at least the Ceres has nice and flat charging car. We can take 107 kilowatt all day long. Oh, yeah. Um, well, okay, what's going on with the other cars? Uh, not much. Uh, they are just charging way faster than the Ceres. <laughs> If I could at least get 120 kilowatt flat, that would be great. Yeah, but that's not the case, unfortunately. So now we're just gonna sit and wait and see what happens. Um, I think a bunch of yeah, that, okay, it dip. There is a weird dip here at 102 kilowatt. I tried car scanner, it didn't work. I would like to see what is going on with the battery temperature because you see that after a little while it will go back to 107 kilowatt. So I'm wondering if there is like a, a thermal throttling going on here. Uh, uh, do we have a uh, high delta between min and max? They're 107 kilowatt again, you know? I, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if there was something like that going on here. But okay, at least we can maintain 100-ish kilowatt for a little bit and then bleh, 83 kilowatt, yeah. Um, by the way, uh, the G6 and the Ionic 5, they're both at 82%. <laughs> After 23 minutes, yes. You have the timer also there on the Ceres and the G6 on the Ionic screen. You see the timer and how long it's been charging. So, you know, yeah, just to put things in perspective, fast charging cars like the G6 Ionic 5, they will hit 90% right around uh, soon. Whereas the Ceres hasn't even hit 70% yet. Wow, this is so slow, man. And the other batteries, they're even bigger. Well, yeah, the 92 kilowatt hour, the G6 has the biggest battery. But uh, that way, no, well, it's almost like a clap a bit too far. No, no, G6! Hit 90% already after 29 minutes. Well, that was okay. <laughs> and then the Ceres is at 72%. But oh man, it goes so slow now. Well, well actually, I mean, it's still okay speed ish, right? If you put in this Tesla in, in the comparison, then it'll be uh, just a little bit slower than a Tesla. But uh, all the other cars there, they are just charging so fast. Wow. I'm surprised that the Explorer hit 90% before the Ionic 5. But uh, G6 is just going to go for 100%. It's like, fuck that shit, man. You're going to go for 100%. You're not going to wait for the Ceres. The other Chinese cars look making the Chinese car look bad here. Shit. Okay. But, um, well, actually, hmm. Explorer is, is winning right now. <laughs> Deutsche Auto is the best. But yeah, um, uh, right before 80%, the Ceres just collapsed. It's like, okay, it was optimized for 80% roughly, but now, now it goes dog slow. Holy macaroni. I mean, uh, uh, 39, uh, 38 minutes to 80%. That is so slow. G6 is almost 100% in comparison. What about the Explorer? Oh, Explorer! It's the Explorer, man! It's going to hit 100% before the G6. Yeah, I remember this. This is 
the, 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 the German autos, they're, they're really awesome. Look, look there, look at that, look at that, huh? 400 volt beats 800 volt, huh? Look at that, <laughs> Explorer hit 100%. G6 is about to hit 100%, and then Ionic 5 is also right behind it, and then Ceres hasn't even hit 90% yet. Holy crap balls, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. Uh, hopefully, the new Series 5 is going to be fast. I mean, it, it, it is supposedly faster. It uh, it can peak at, uh, what was the Charlie's beating it? it was, I think it was 170 or 180 kilowatts. So, hopefully, it has a flatter curve. When I talked to the sales manager in Norway, Series Norway, he claims that this is the exact same battery. I was like, uh, are you sure about that? Must be something different. And they said, yes, well, yeah, uh, the onboard charger was improved. I was like, uh, no, I mean, uh, that has nothing to do with that, you know, onboard charger, when you charge on DC, it bypasses the onboard charger, so, okay, at least he didn't know, so maybe I need to ask some Chinese people that say that, okay, that we, we finished charging, but it was dog slow. So here we see that uh, the G6 is the fastest, at least in the peak, in the beginning, and then the Ionic 5, okay, has always this slow start because there was a high delta between min and max, so it uh, cold gets and replicates on the same charging session. But then it drops also kind of, but then the Explorer has a flatter curve, but it flattens out f more than the others. Yeah, so that's why it won to 100%. But uh, Ceres, though, it's at the bottom here. Holy crap. So it, it managed to get around 120 kilowatt as forecast, I mean, as um, advertised for a little bit. And then it just drops and then it stays there. And then the brr, 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 and then it's just the slowest charging car of them all. I didn't even bother going to 100%. That would take forever, man. I would be old by then. So, yeah, that is, there you guys see it. That not every Chinese car is charging fast nowadays so you need to pick the right car go for Xpeng or seeker or um neo is getting faster also but they um kind of have a little i mean they you have to get the right the battery generation otherwise you get the first gen and then you get also around 118 kilowatts so but we've seen this at least in thailand you know that many yeah, I mean, it's not the worst we've seen. Many Chinese cars, they tend to charge at only 75 kilowatt, or it seems to be 200 amp limited. But uh, at least some Chinese brands, they're getting better and better. So you just go for the right brand, watch my videos, and then you'll be a happy panda. So that's going to be for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.